So you want to get started on eBay in 2023, but you're wondering, what do I actually need to get started? In this video, we're going to share with you the items that you need when you're first starting out on eBay, what you might need as an intermediate seller, and those high-end items that you might want to buy if you're looking to scale your business to a full-time income. So you've signed up for an eBay account and you've entered all of your bank details and your return address. But what are the items that you're going to need to get started? If you've got one of these, then you're all set because the things that you definitely need to start are something to take photos with and an internet connection. At this point, some may recommend that you get yourself some lighting and somewhere to take photographs, but all you really need if you're starting out is somewhere that's got some natural light and a clean surface. Once you start getting some items listed, you're going to need somewhere to store it. And you don't have to run out and purchase tubs immediately. You can just use a box, but what we do recommend is a SKU system. So that's as simple as writing a location or a code on here that you can put into your custom SKU on eBay. So you know when you sell the item that you can actually find it. That's an A1 box. So guess what we're saying is when you're just starting out, Keep it simple. So you've started to sell a couple of items on eBay and you're probably not gonna run out and buy a wall of shipping supplies, but you can go straight into your post office and purchase one at a time as you need. Or if you have a printer, you can also print your labels from home. All right, let's get into those intermediate sellers and what they may need to build their eBay business. And what I mean by that is if you started selling a few items here and there and you thought, maybe this is something that I can do more efficiently and you're ready to invest in some new products. Here are the first few things that we would consider buying if you wanna help your business to scale. The first things is standard size packaging. And what this will allow you to do, apart from just having it on hand, is to open a My Post Business account. So we're not saying you can't use some recycled packaging, but you will have to weigh and measure those items to put into My Post Business. And you're definitely going to need some kitchen scales and a measuring tape. With all those packages going out the door, you're gonna to wanna to get yourself a tape dispenser, or three. When we first started shipping out quite a few parcels, we purchased these A4 labels so that we could put it straight in our printer and slap that straight onto a satchel. So when that all got too much, we invested in a thermal label printer and we used the Dymo 4XL. That one still takes the generic labels. Again, not something that you need to purchase straight away, but you'll know when it's time. And if you are gonna be creating and printing your labels from my post business, a laptop is definitely gonna come in handy. This is probably around the time when you want to invest in some tubs that will protect and organize your items. And you're probably gonna need some racking and shelves to put all those tubs and items on. Again, that SKU system is so important because we lost so many items in those early days. If you find that you're starting to work every day or inside or at night time, then you're probably at the point where you wanna invest in some lighting. We've tried a few different lights and at the moment we're really enjoying these Godox because they're bright and adjustable. Recycling fill for your parcels is relevant at every level, but at some point you're probably going to want to purchase some bubble wrap and some fill to package your items. Tools that we use every single day are our box cutter, our delinter, and some orange cleaner. For all those shoe sellers, you're going to want to get onto Angelus cleaners and waxes. You're gonna need a good quality horsehair brush and essential, the microfiber cloth. Batteries, just every type of battery. All right, let's talk about those more experienced resellers. So maybe you've quit your full-time job and now this is your full-time income. What are the items that you're gonna need to make your business more efficient? You may wanna build yourself a permanent photo booth and we have one that we do hard goods on and we have a flat lay. For better efficiency and price, we recommend buying your post supplies on australiapost.com in bulk. And the ones that we use the most of are the small bubble mailers, the small, medium and large standard satchels, and your medium and small boxes. If you're selling clothing at scale, then you might want to think about an upright steamer so you can get through a bunch at once. And for those heavier boxes, you might want to upgrade your scales. If you find yourself niching into CDs and DVDs, you might even want to get yourself a good quality disc cleaner. Not something that we've done yet, but definitely on the radar. And something we splurged on last year that we do not regret at all is grabbing an ergonomic mat from Human Tools. 
especially for those long postage sessions. We've linked some of these items in the description so you can find them really easily, but some of these links are affiliate links. That just means if you click on it, there's no extra cost to you, but we do get a little bit of a kickback. So I hope this video has shown you that the barrier to entry into starting on eBay is quite low, but as you grow, you're probably gonna wanna buy a few items to help you be more efficient in your day-to-day -day work. Let us know in the comments below if we have missed any items that you use to make your eBay business better. See you on the next one.